All right, what's going on, y'all? We got another build here. It's a 6'8 center, very unorthodox build. We have the weight at 275, and the wingspan is 7'6. So this is my friend KG's uh, build. He, this is the build that he decided to make to start the year, and we've been we've been making builds for the past two days. So none of us have made a build until just now. Uh, I was really trying to dissect the builder for the most part. I'm trying to create builds that are ridiculous, um, but also very helpful for the team because we want to make sure that we win this year. Um, and this build here is actually really good. I really like it. It's it's a very unique build. I know a lot of people don't do stuff like this, but the 6'8 center is, is nice. It's nice this year. So let's get into it. Y'all gonna see the stats and it's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. So we got 70 on a close shot here. Um, I know 70 is pretty low, but I was greening this shit consistently, like in the paint with, when I was, um, playing against, I decided to play against the Sixers cause I wanted to see how to be against like MB and I was greening it consistently after grabbing an offensive rebound. Like it was, it was nice. Um, 75 driving standard dunk, as I told you on another video, having that standard dunk there. It really helps out, especially having that rise up on bronze. It really lets you just go up, uh, not dealing with or worrying about having contact dunks that don't trigger. You'll be able to just go up with the um, with that 75 standing. And the 75 driving is also nice to have. So you, you'll get all the basic lobs and stuff. You'll be able to catch lobs, so that's important. Um, the three is maxed out at a 78. So we get the green machine silver. Um, we didn't touch the mid-range because this build was mainly supposed to be defense and, and popping for the most part. Um, and we don't really need him to be like closer to the basket for the most part. So we went with the 78 instead of trying to get the uh, mid-range there. Because the mid-range, it do let you get... Um, it do let you get catch and shoot on goal. But uh, we ended up doing it this way instead. So... We get the the free throw is an 82, um, which is actually pretty decent for a center for the most part. Uh, you guys see we didn't touch pass accuracy. None of this stuff in here has been touched. Um, so we went in the, the game itself. We test, did the test builder, and we tested out 25 pass accuracy. We wanted to see if we could throw full court passes and not really be affected as much we want to see if we could throw a full court pass and the ball get to where we need it to be and we don't have to like waste points into that because we did have it at a 68 to make sure you get break starter uh but we ended up not having it at all and because we lowered it to like a 60 and then it, it felt cool then we lowered it to a 50 and it felt cool. Then we were like, all right, let's see how it is with, with no pass accuracy. And it's actually really good. And for the most part, we don't really break start that much because of how the game has evolved. Uh, we kind of just pass it to the closest person. So we have zero pass accuracy, but don't let it fool you. He can still throw break starters. Um, I'm going a, I'm to a put a clip on the screen now so y'all can, well, the clip was already running, but y'all y'all see that. Like, y'all see how it is. And um, that shit is, you don't really need that pass accuracy. I'm telling you. Like, you don't, you don't need it like that. You probably need it to, like, if you're really doing some crazy shit with the ball as a center. But I feel like you don't really need it. It's not that important. Um, but what is important is having that. You see, he got an interior defense at a 96. So get post lock hall of fame um workhorse is on oh wow that sucks workhorse is gold and he's right there for hall of fame but you you get what you can get i guess yeah you need it we needed one more uh stamina point to get it so uh we got our anchor at gold so anchor gold is that's cool that's where we need it to be you got the 90 perimeter defense on the center. So with the 90 perimeter defense, it gives them the off-ball pass Hall of Fame. You don't really need it. It's not that important. 
but the other badges are so we get our challenger 94 94 feet on the center take our is hit or miss for the most part um and then we got our workhorse go we got our ankle braces go we get clamp silver so on the center clamps is nice he don't have steel which would have been nice to get steel for the interceptor but i've gotten a lot of steals recently with no interceptor and i'm noticing that this game is really tied into like your timing and how good you are at getting the ball so you really don't need that interceptor um but you can lower the block if you want to and get it so the block is a 94 94 for chase down artist hall of fame so that's the reason why we had it right there so chase down artist hall of fame yes we have that uh we got the 83 vertical for that as well we and we get the pogo stick on hall of fame with the 83 vertical so that's another thing that that was really nice with this build is having pogo stick hall of fame um we get a 90 offensive rebound with a 99 defensive so we're getting the boards every trip nobody's getting boards bro that's how we doing it um and then we got a 75 speed 66 acceleration 95 strength so the reason i went 95 strength is because we're gonna get bulldozer um so when he's driving to the basket if he do drive to the basket he'll be able to push people over get those easy lays as well as have a fearless finisher because of the close shot being where is it uh then he got he's gonna have a movable enforcer that's what we had a 95 strength for to make sure that when somebody drive into the paint and he stops them that's what's gonna happen they're not gonna be able to move that's a very important badge i feel like um but we don't we don't know how every badge work exactly but i feel like this badge would be really nice to have uh, and then we got our 83 vertical which gives us uh aerial wizard and then we also end up getting a uh, poster on uh bronze which is nice to have as well and i told y'all we got the rise up and stuff so it's also real good to have and then this also gives us the stamina is what's giving us um 94 feet so 94 feet is gonna be on gold and um it sucks that we was one stamina point off a of workhorse but it is what it is um but yeah, that was it right there. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are going to have more videos and stuff for you guys soon. Actually, let's go in and show y'all the name of the build real quick. And then we're going to keep it pushing. So, yeah, this build is... We we like this center build a lot. This center build is going to be key for us to win some games. This is a glass clean, a lockdown at 6'8". Nice ass build, man. Nice ass build. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe. And as always... No, wait! <laughs> <laughs> he should have hit the like button.